Hi, boys and girls. How are you today? It is time to look at this book. And what do we call this book? I know it's the Bible. It is, it is the most important book ever. And we have been looking at the Easter story. And we're going to start today by reviewing the pieces that we've looked at already. And then I'll read the new piece, okay? All right. So do you remember who these two guys are? Those are Jesus' friends, aren't they? And what were they looking for? I know they were looking for the donkey. And who told them to look for the donkey? You're right. Jesus did, didn't he? Now, when they found the donkey, what did they do? Did they put their coats on the donkey? And then who got on the donkey to ride it? Jesus did, didn't he? And he started to ride the donkey and people saw him. And what did they shout? That's right, they shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the king. All right, and what else did the people do? They put these branches on the road, they put their coats on the road, and the donkey that Jesus was riding on walked over those, didn't he? And what city did they go to? Jerusalem, that's right. Very good that you remember that. And this was on a special day called Palm Sunday, and it was a happy day. Everybody was happy except for oh, the leaders. Oh, how did the leaders, these are the leaders of the, how did they feel? Oh, I know, look at how angry they look. They are so, so mad. They didn't like it because everybody was following Jesus. They wanted everybody to follow them. But Jesus still had his friends. Do you remember what we called the 12 friends? Disciples, that's right. And one night, what did Jesus do? I know, he got this bowl of water he used a towel as an apron and he washed all his disciples' feet. And he told them, I'm washing your feet to remind you, you need to be kind to everyone. That's right. And then this is a man named Judas and he had a bad idea. What did Judas want? Oh, he wanted money. So he went to the leaders and said, I'll tell you where Jesus is if you give me money. And did they give him money? You bet they did. All right. Now, Jesus decided to sit down to a special dinner or supper with his friends, okay? And he gave a piece of bread to Judas to show everybody who had a bad idea, and Judas had to leave. Now, while they were eating, Jesus gave every one of his disciples a piece of bread, and they drank some wine. And Jesus said, every time you eat the bread and drink the wine, remember me that's right and we do that today when we take holy communion or the lord's supper at our church and then jesus was telling his friends i'm going to be leaving but do not be afraid right okay this is the part of the easter story that we're going to read today it's called sadness it was night jesus took his friends to a garden there jesus prayed and there judas carried out his bad idea he led soldiers to the garden. He showed them where Jesus was. Jesus knew he would, and it was all right. Jesus went with them. All right, so do you see here? Jesus is at the garden praying, and then Judas brought the soldiers to get Jesus. You see, it was time for Jesus to die. God had planned it long ago. Jesus knew it would happen when he came to the earth. He came to take the punishment for all the wrong things anybody had ever done or ever would do. And now it was time. The soldiers took him to the leaders. Okay, so here's Jesus and here are those mean leaders that we saw before. The leaders did not believe he was God's son. They said he must die because he calls himself the son of God. So they killed him on a cross. It was a sad day for Jesus' friends, but they did not know that God had planned a wonderful surprise for them, and they would not be sad for long. So do you see? This cross is where Jesus was, and then on either side, there were two robbers that were killed with Jesus on the cross. So that's very sad, isn't it? So let's just look at this part. Where, what is Jesus doing here? I know he's praying at a garden, and it was called the Garden of Gethsemane. And then Judas came along, and who did he bring with him? Who are these guys? Soldiers, that's right, and they took Jesus. Where did they take Jesus? 
to the leaders. And what did the leaders say had to happen to Jesus? I know he had to die. And where did Jesus die? On the cross. And that's a very sad thing. That's why this part is called sadness. All right, we're going to sing our songs that we've been singing all week long. And the first one's a happy song because it's for Palm Sunday, the day that Jesus rode to Jerusalem on the donkey. So you can stand up to do this song. And Rebecca will adjust her camera a little bit. And we go, he is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. His name is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, oh, he is the king. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. His name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, he is the king. And you can jump up and down now. Jumping up and down, jumping up and down, jumping up and down. Shout Hosanna, Hosanna. Jumping up and down. Jumping up and down, jumping up and down, shout Hosanna, Hosanna, and then pretend you're on a donkey. Here comes Jesus riding on a donkey. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the king. Wave the branches of the trees before him. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the king. And now jump again. Jumping up and down, jumping up and down, jumping up and down, shout Hosanna. Hosanna! Jumping up and down, jumping up and down, jumping up and down. Shout Hosanna! Hosanna! Very good. That one's a fun one. All right. Then we sing the Easter song, which tells us all the parts of the Easter story. We can still have motions, and it goes like this. Do you know what Easter is? What Easter is? what Easter is. Do you know what Easter is and why we celebrate? Did you know Jesus died for us? Jesus died for us. Jesus died for us. Did you know Jesus died for us? He died for sinners sake. Did you know he washed our sins? He washed our sins. He washed our sins. Did you know he washed our sins? He washed them all away. Did you know he rose again? He rose again. He rose again. Did you know he rose again? He rose on Easter day. Very good. And then we've been learning a song from a, a video and it's called One, Two, Three, Jesus is alive. Okay. All right. And it, and it goes like this. One, two, three, Jesus is alive. One, two, three, Jesus is alive. He died. We'll do this. He died for you and me. But on day three, Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive. And then there's a part that goes, God loved the world. And we make a world like making a circle like this. So he gave his son. Jesus, this is the sign language for Jesus. Jesus is our friend. He loves everyone. All right, and we'll sing it with Mrs. Becker, and then you can uh, use the link to the tape, and you can watch that. One, two, three, Jesus is alive. One, two, three, Jesus is alive. He died for you and me, but on day three, Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. He died for you and me. But on day three, Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive. God loved the world. So he gave his son. Jesus is our friend. He loves everyone. God loved the world. So he gave his son. Jesus is our friend. 
He loves everyone. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. He died for you and me, but on day three, Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive. Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive. And then we can clap knowing that can't be. Very good. All right, boys and girls, I have a little poem to end our Bible time today. And it goes like this. Do you know what letter this is? Oh, let me get this up here. It's the letter E, isn't it? E is for each of us. God loves everyone. What letter is this? A is for a broken world, so God sent his son. What about this letter? S is for our sins that Jesus took away. What letter is this? T is for the tomb where he lay for three full days. What letter is this? E is for the empty tomb. The stone was rolled away. And what about this? R is for the risen Lord. Jesus is alive today. And let me show you what word these letters spell out. Just a minute. I'll put it up here. It's going to take me a minute. Get them in. I have the A, or excuse me, the E, A, S. T, and then I've got the next E and the R. And this spells Easter. Easter. That's our special, special time, isn't it? All right. Thank you for helping me with the Bible story, boys and girls. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.